Okay, let me get back here. Are hey, you ready? All right, here, Oriol Servia. Okay, it's Monday, the day after bump day, all qualifying and everything. You happy? You satisfied? I am, I am satisfied and happy. I mean, honestly, I, we had, I think, a better car than 13, that's mm -hmm. what we qualified. But at the end of the day, uh, the important the important day is race day, not qualifying day. And I think we have a great car, a uh, great team. We've been preparing very well, so I'm, I'm ready for it. Mm -hmm. right, um, the car itself, you know, this year, you know, when basically everybody's driving the same car, okay? You know, you have two different engines. You drive Chevy, some guys drive Hondas. They gave you extra boost for qualifying, but they're going to take that away. Now, for qualifying, you bow tie guys, you Chevy guys pretty much dominated the thing there. Are you expecting things to be a little different when the race time comes? You know, the same kind of happened last year. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, when they give us more boost, the, mm -hmm. the, the Chevy uh, people, they do a better job getting more uh, mm -hmm. out of the boost and the engine. And come, come to race day, it's a little more equal, but I still have total confidence in the, in the mm -hmm. Chevrolet, in the, in the people behind it, they do a, they do a very good job. Honda does too, mm -hmm. but I think Chevy is doing just a little better job, so I hope we have a little bit of an advantage. Yeah. How, how is the, you know, the, the mindset for a driver like you? You did qualifying. Now, do you change the way you attack the track now, or are you still in, are you still in the same... You know, the, the same mindset, the same mood, or is it like, okay, now qualifying is hairy, I'm done with that, now i got to settle down, and it's a 500 mile race. It's a 500 mile race, and mm -hmm. you have to have that in your mind. It's different to any other race, and um, mm -hmm. on any race, for me at least, the goal is always first thing, mm -hmm. to be able to win a race, you have to finish it. Right. Right? It's always the same, like, mm -hmm. you can think you can win, but if you crash, you finish. A 500 mile race, that has to be in your mind all the time, because it's a long race, you have mm -hmm. seven, eight pit stops, you're going to be racing for four hours, so there's many opportunities for you to do a mistake. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is to be able to be there at the last lap and put yourself in a position, like you are in the top five, so you can... Mm -hmm in the last 30 laps fight for the win. No, that's, mm -hmm. that's all uh, that is in my head, mm -hmm. and, and, and that's the plan I have. Mm -hmm. uh, you're, the, the race coming up, you have your plans and everything. How much is it, like, okay, you got your plan, you start the race, but then something happens, you know, something always happens, you know, some yellow flag you weren't expecting, something, rain, you know, that's common. Something in, in, always <laughs> happens, you're right. I mean, okay. in every race, even the perfect race mm -hmm. still has things that something okay. happened, like last year, we started, I had the same plan, mm -hmm. and uh, I think on lap 35 or something, one of the tires uh, went down. I had a mm -hmm. flat tire mm -hmm. for no reason, just out of the blue. So we had to come in, change the tire, but that cost us to go a lap down. Mm -hmm. So for the next three hours, I was a lap down, not able to get my lap back. Mm -hmm. That was not in my plan, <laughs> you know, but you have to find a way mm -hmm. to... Uh, just stay focused on the task at hand and try to get the lap back or be mm -hmm. fight whatever, fighting whatever problem you have. Mm -hmm. And eventually, just with 30 laps to go, we were mm -hmm. able to get the lap back, past everybody and finish fourth. So mm -hmm. you can never give up and you have to keep, you know, keep working hard on, on what you think is the job at that moment. Mm -hmm. Now, are you one of those drivers that when you're out there and you're racing, you know, when the team boss, the strategist tells you, okay, things have changed, we want you to do this, 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 you do it? Or are you one of these guys who are always, always thinking in his head also, and to heck with him, I'm running my race, I, want, I think I know better. Well, you know, when... when don't worry, nobody's going to see this. <laughs> <laughs> when, I hope a lot of people do, but um, the truth is, once you have a lot of experience or mm -hmm. many years racing, you know, it's impossible not to have your own mm -hmm. opinion on the strategy mm -hmm. or things, but the truth is that the people that are in the pit stand doing mm -hmm. the strategy see a lot more than I see from the race car, mm -hmm. right? I mean, mm -hmm. I only see the people in front of me, behind me, right. but I don't know what the leader is doing or how many different strategies or what's happening to people on old tires or new tires, so mm -hmm. they have a lot more information than mm -hmm. me. So at the end, you always have to trust that they are doing the right call, even mm -hmm. if it's the opposite of what you were thinking, only because they have more information. So right. I, I always follow the, the instructions of the team on it. Okay. Right, one last question. There's been a lot of news going out there and everything after Indy, your team and you. What are you doing after Indy? Are you going to be continuing with the series? What's Man, going on? I, I hope so. I mean, mm -hmm. honestly, this was news to me. I didn't see it coming. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't have a plan B because I was planning right. to be the whole year mm -hmm. with the team. So 
I don't know. I know they are working hard. I am working hard to find uh, other mm -hmm. other opportunities. But uh, as of right now, yeah. all I can do is try to focus on Indy. Right. If I win the race, it's going to help me uh, find sponsors to continue. Or at least I'll have a big check and I can go to Costa Rica for six months and wait for <laughs> the next season to start. So we'll see. Honestly, all I can do right now is just focus on the race. And then we'll see what happens after. Well, we'll be rooting for you. You're one of my favorite drivers out there. I mean, I've been following you for years. I've been running into you for years also. I and. It. and and somebody's got to sponsor you, somebody's got to pick you up. I mean, wow. you belong out there, man. I know, and hopefully <laughs> if I win, I'm going to even put a bit more. So. All right, yeah, Oriel Servia, thanks a lot. Good luck this Thank weekend. Thank you, guys. Thank you.